listen, let's start here first. Um, you know, I know a lot of people will get mad from what the fuck I gotta say, but I'm about to add Carter on. But let me say this before I add Carter on. Um, shit happens. I ain't taking up for Carter, but I'm just saying shit happens. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I first of all, let's start here first. Money bag ain't come all the way to New Orleans and walking this and walking the um metro for ain't for free. He ain't gonna do that. You see what I'm saying? He came that hole. He was booked to be in that hole. Now, whatever business they had, I don't know. We're going to find out what's, what's going on. But we go, we, we go see what's going on. The man got his receipt, but we're going to see what's going on. But let's start here first. I ain't going to lie. You niggas, I'm going to say, Chris, I fuck with you. The year the real, I fuck with you. But you going hard. You and Stinker going hard. Listen. Listen. Young, you from the fucking city. You from the city. But you done took... Bag side. I ain't really there shouldn't be no size. First of all, first of all, first of all, Chris, that's just, I guess, your partners or you fuck with them people, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, you born and raised in New Orleans. We is the home team. You see what I'm saying? You done took them people's side. And you done took them people's side when they ain't had no side to be took. That's cool, bloody though. I ain't gonna lie, cause you going hard. I ain't gonna lie, you going hard. This listen. You tagging money bag, yo. If you bring him on here, I'ma say what I got to say too. But money bag, your management team saying they won't get on here too and all that. But that's crazy. Y'all cuss up in New Orleans, bro. Y'all cuss up in New Orleans. I already know. They wait. Y'all wait for a nigga to cut up or mess up or something. Then y'all tear the ass up. But that's all right. The we going down, hang knees, nails, and toenails. Come fucking with the love and heartbreak, heart love and heartbreak. If we said he go be there, they go be there. Carter said that money bag was go be there. He was be there. Now I don't know what was going on at the park, but what's going on? He didn't get on the stage and all that. I don't know what's going on. And I understand y'all frustration. Yeah, y'all paid to come support T Carter, but y'all also came to see money bag, whatever. And maybe the nigga didn't get on stage. Well, ain't no maybe. He didn't. I don't know how that contract shit go. I don't know how that work. You know what I'm saying? But we go find out tonight. So let me add T Carter on here. You know what I'm saying? Ross, you know, it shit out the chairs. I already know. But I'm about to piss y'all off tonight. Yes, I'm is. Go piss y'all off. When a nigga down, y'all go step on him. Crucify him to the cross. Yes, y'all is. Oh, that's cold blooded. That's, that's cold blooded. We go see what the bitch says. That was cold. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. I ain't even know all this was 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 going on. First of all, with with the home team, I had just woke up, took me a run. So I said, let me. I looked at the internet for a second. I've been staying off of that, so I don't even want to address them first. Cause cause Chris and Stank wasn't even nowhere on my agenda to even talk about the little brothers. You feel me? Right. First, I want to address my city where I'm from, where I'm born and raised, and give a, an apology to what happened to all of y'all. It ain't just happened to you, it happened to me, so it happened to us. So at, at the end of the day, I take responsibility for everything, every, 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 everything that happened. You know what I'm saying? Because it happened on my time, it happened. Mm -hmm. We can't hear you, we can't hear you. anything host wise i don't do hosts i put the dollar i put the dollar and a pen together to make sure i do my mat at every time to make sure how i'm investing my money so for a decade i can go back i had to look for the last decade i have done every event live performance live or live in concert my artists perform each and every time every pr promoter know that about me they, they paid attention to my formula for years Every host know about me. Uh, everybody just know about me. And the people that know me know I do solid business. Right. So for that to happen to me, okay, I stand up to it. That's why I'm on here talking. But I ain't know that I was going to be a, be getting attacked from so many different angles. I just didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Especially from the home team, like you say. Now let's start from the beginning of everything, right? Me and... Moneybag, your people have done business a few times already, okay? I have booked this dude three times already. And every time I book him, 
is live in concert performing live. We have done this already. And if my name come back up, you come into the city, I would think that if you see Carter Nation or T Card or something, you know that's the bro or whatever, whatever. But my money evidently don't have no weight to see who it is you working with. It's got more weight to see some goofy fools on the internet tagging them, you know what I'm saying, behind something that's just a little bit more serious than what they taking it. Cause I didn't even know we had a problem, Chris and Stank and all y'all. I didn't know we had no problem. Right. Like so it's hitting me kind of different right now for me to look at the, the internet and see that part. Let, let me carry on. I actually was originally going to bring Moneybag Yo down or I requested to bring him down for Father's Day. But he didn't solidify a tour or anything like that. I was told by his people he's going on tour. And the price that they told me to bring him down, I said, no, that's a little too much for the city, especially for the nightclub. You know, we don't really spend no ticket money here or whatever like that. So the type of money they was talking about, like, nah. But that was only like 140. It wasn't even no big number. You know, Stank who talk about bag 200. Yeah, he might be 200 other places, but adjustments come down. Little boy to be talking about just for him. I saw that post. Like, we a D market, okay? And I'm a numbers guy i know what to do and how to do it that's why you've been trying to mimic me and hire me every time stink behind the scenes want me to help him and stuff like that and i always have declined that right. from the free low bangs to whatever that little boy came out with so i didn't know it was animosity i just stayed away from him because we know he got that type of jacket you ain't gonna if, if somebody gonna mess up my jacket i'm gonna mess up my own jacket I'm not right. going to put my name on something unless somebody else mess up my jacket. No, no, no. So that's why, but I guess it's animosity. So let me take that hit. Anyway, talking to bad people who I have a relationship with, we agreed to, when he come down this way, when he starts his tour, actually, when he starts the tour, New Orleans don't have a date. Yeah, that's because New Orleans ain't really spending no money. So we don't get on the big concerts like that and stuff like that. I have a spot for you or something like that. That's what we talked about. When we finally d discussed it again, we came together on numbers. Man, I don't do hosts. That shit making my heart beat so fast. I don't do no host when nobody comes sit in no section. So 100% on my soul, me and this dude talked about live. Live performance, that dude getting on stage. It wasn't never nothing about getting in no section looking like you, you're pretty and that's not shitting on bag. That's not shitting on his people. But I don't, man, I, I feel like I can host a party, stand up on the sofa, smoke some weed and drink and all that. I can do that. Right. So why I want that? Man, my motto I stand on is, is performing when people come down here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know where this foolishness come from about some goddamn hoes because I got the black and white. I got the wire. I got all my money. And if I needed more money to clean it up that night, I had had that bag on me already. And me and his people had already discussed that. Man, his people was acting like after I'm trying to clean it up since I'm in the middle of a jam, we can't discuss business in no nightclub when you got a club full of people. A club full of pe people standing in here wanting to see this dude because I promoted what I promoted. I stand on what I promoted. I stand on 100% what I promoted. Man, I'm called a man. How old was money bag? Yo, when I was 24, 23 years old, I was having fun already. I like to see people get their money. Everybody. I wouldn't try to scam my way to get no money. Man, I'm about to be 42 in another month. I'm confused, man. That's what's fucking with me. So calm down. Listen. And then another thing. Scam, scam promote. Let me, let me say this. Man, my son was at the front door working. My nephew was at the front door working. My girl was in the building. I got partners at the front door that if it's a phone call or call me in any kind of way, I'm running to them. All right? You mean to tell me I'm going to put their life in danger? For two hours, four hours of fun? I'm going to put my family life in danger? That's people that's been knowing me. I never put nobody in danger on my time. First of all, my kid, in respect to you, 
keep like listen man you know me man we've been knowing each other you fam cuz right you know i'm not doing no foolery no goofy stuff so you know 100 percent for sure is more to the story because you know me man we've been knowing each other right i don't do, i don't do that goofy stuff so i'm sorry i'm sorry dog you in because really you're in the middle of it because today or uh, sometime yesterday it was funny when you said we have like a discrepancy or whatever something was going on like on stage and when you heard out it was a problem it's like man i'm out of here you know what right. i'm saying and i respect that and that's how i felt in the corner and when i told them all right somebody else got involved and said we need a few more dollars i don't know what you mean like a few more dollars that ain't what we agreed to we agreed to we got it in black and white man but i'm saying we need need a few more dollars or whatever whatever it wasn't never understood for him to go to no section first of all i had to put that together at the last minute the man had some people waiting for him outside for a minute for him to come you know what i'm saying that held him up outside for a little minute so that killed a lot of my time and i'm walking back and forth trying to get business done i'm knowing he outside taking care of his business so he's sitting out there with that so the time strolling by i'm gonna keep it real with you how i discovered he wasn't on stage. I'm talking to my partner about some, something that we could have talked about later. We, me and my partner could have talked about what he was talking about later. You don't even know your, what type of jam your partner in right now. But I'm the one who got to take care of it. So I had to make a quick decision with that. You know, and that's my partner, man. Right. I can't talk to you right, right now, partner. But I love you, though. All right? Mm. Let me move on. I get to the corner and I go to see what's going on. And I'm like, man like what we doing and it came to the point where we agreed i thought we agreed on after i had to go in my pocket some more because i'm gonna keep it g then the corner talking about i need more money all right i got more money on me because now my name on the line my name is on the line with this y'all playing on me with this dude turned into a little puppet he turned into a little puppet like he was scared to go over there and talk to him i was confused like you turned into a cold-blooded cold turkey puppet in the corner because you already agreed to we gonna talk about it later let me fix the problem now we got people in the building man may turn it to the puppet so his partner go over there and talk the bag we all come back to agreement that i'm gonna put up 20. i'm gonna put up 20 more my contract already solidified is in black and white that he's supposed to, supposed to perform i never agreed to the host man i don't do hosts so he come back, say, bag on chill a minute, that's cool, or whatever like that. Man, about 20 more minutes passed. I'm thinking we hadn't got somewhere. I didn't went, it's like I didn't walked off and went to doing something else, came back, because that's the problem at hand. And we still, what we doing, bro? What we doing? I'm asking, you know, I'm asking them what we doing. Man, he, he don't want really, he don't really want to talk right now. What you mean he don't want to talk right now? So I'm going back and forth up the steps. And shout out to Pop. Shout out to Pop. I'm going to say this about Pop right now pop holding the music so long the people don't even know the behind the scenes stuff that's going on so pop holding it holding it holding it every time we look at each other he holding the music holding the music i'm over there discussing business that i shouldn't even much be in man listen to this man all right forget me right now i said everything i said you know who can really stamp it though i just, just came to mind so something telling me to say it Man, A standing right there, bro. Shout out to Baton Rouge, the homie, the homie from Baton Rouge. Man, yeah, we're gonna supposed to get together. We supposed to get together on some business, and he's standing there like, man. I had my partners. Matter of fact, I had partners in the building that I know for sure had that bag on them. So if even if I have no bag on them to clean up any mistake, my partners gonna roll with me, hundred percent. People don't know that behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know I know Boo and Chops sitting over there. They got a bag on them if if, if, if I needed it. It's and, you, them, and, and you and you and you saying names, even the, the owner of the empire. Zo was like, what even do you need? So, I got him. He, yeah. He Zoe told me, I act like he told to me. He said, if you only needed 20, if you needed 25 bands, he said you could have came got it from him. He did tell me that. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't gonna say it, but since you saying their name, they did. He told me, he said, if you need, what do you need? You need 25 bands, tell him I got it. What's up? What do you need? He did say that. Zoe told me that. He told me that I was on out. The nigga who owned Empire. He did. All right. I already came with that bag for, like, when I'm doing my back end money, 
I'm gonna go in, go in the bag and grab that money. So I ain't gonna about to count out no man. That's, that's 50, that was sixty thousand dollars. So I ain't make it to the bank. I think I made it to the bank and got like twenty five, maybe twenty. So that's all hundreds. Everything else, I got to go in the bag and count the money. I just grabbed the whole bag. So when I'm paying the back and we in the condo, I'm paying the back and we in that counting a little minute. I'm joking with the homie that I've been knowing for a minute. Me and him know each other. So I'm taking care of the business, man. If it was a discrepancy, it could have started right there. He ain't say nothing. He ain't tell me nothing. Nothing was nothing. I ain't find out nothing till it was crunch time, till it was time for the stage to roll. And let me say this. It messed my head up for the for the the the, the club to or the people in the club that was partying to find out that we had a twenty to twenty five thousand dollar problem in a club. It came back that Carter didn't have the money. Within within ten minutes, Carter didn't have the money. So that's why when I heard that yesterday, my mental started clicking out that ego side. Man, I started posting all the money I had on me. I still had like a I still man to keep it real, keep it all the way real. I had like about one sixty still on me in the bag. Where we counted the money at. So I go to clicking out on Instagram. I go to posting all that foolishness. And then I go to thinking to myself, call to handle this a little bit better, dog. So I take it all down. I take it all down. Like, man, you don't have nothing to prove on that level. Man, I've been blessed for a long time, man. I don't have no reason to do goofy stuff, especially in no promotional business. Especially. I'm confused right now. I'm so confused right now what's going on to the to the point where, man, what the hell? This is what we come to? People discuss and got to get on lives and stuff. I pull people into this with me behind nothing but some negative foolishness. You can ask anybody around me. I be trying to stay on that positive kick and keep them motivated and stuff like that. And, man, I got to pull all this attention behind some negative foolishness. Like I got to play with somebody behind some, man, listen, man. I'm too blessed for that. I humbly say that. So y'all got to chill with that. It's way more to the story. And I ain't know some niggas from the slums of New Orleans arrive with Memphis like that. Man, homie, man, you, you, man, I just had woke up not too long ago, and I, that's my first time getting on Instagram, so my, my heart did that. Man, Chris, partner, we, you spent money with me so many times, so many times, and you got on that stage so many times. And we ain't never had no 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 bad fuckery, foolishness, or nothing. So I don't know where this hit coming from. But wherever it's coming from, I feel like now I'm going to answer that question. At that time when we was doing business, partner, when you was coming and you was another Chris, you ain't have Stank around you. Because ever since Stank started coming around you, I see that fall back now. I see it now, though. Cause I wasn't even paying attention to that. I'm thinking about it. I see it now. So, so it's like, okay. And then I see what Stank is doing and stuff like that. Stank, you could never in, in your life be me at the end of the day. I'm a hustler, a grinder. I don't take, I don't play. If 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 I if I need to do an event or I won't do an event, Carter gonna roll alone. So part of that goofy stuff that you did back in the G. Boy, don't you ever try to get down on me when you are the problem taking up people money from the jump to try to do an event to try to make some money now that was goofy because them people took the people hounded you cuz because you did something goofy i got another type of problem going on right now and you you on there playing on the internet trying to make a man about to be 42 years old you got it you and larry the same age so larry about 31 32 years old that's how you play with the OG down here in New Orleans. I thought it was a little bit more respect for an OG. I thought I could be the OG. You dab me off for Trey Songs night. Man, look at Carter outside. That's why I be knowing them daps be fake, bro. Because if anything, if you know your man's in the problem and look at Carter outside like you happy to see me, help, help me fix my problem. Y'all coming through that back door with all that clout chasing. If y'all are that close to bag, Talk to this dude. We got a problem with the home team. I would rather y'all versus y'all so that close to him. Man, ain't none of y'all that close to him because none of y'all can go talk to him. None of y'all. Y'all just want to get in the club free. That's all y'all.
y'all want to do. Y'all want to come to the back door free, get some videos posted. Y'all trying to y'all trying to come up cool. Do whatever you do to try to make your music do whatever you you wanted to do, partner. But that was disrespectful, homie. You're disrespecting the home team, and that ain't how it go. That's not how it go. You're different, man. That's cold blooded, dog. I ain't know it was like that. So all all this man is just like touching me. Just it's just totally off guard at me right now. And I, I don't I deal with stuff differently when it. In three days, partner, I ain't I, I probably slept about four hours. I texted that to you, man. Yeah, you, you did. Man, I ain't been really sleeping. And so for me to sleep and to get up and finally like hit that scroll at one time on Instagram, I ain't about to be on uh live at eight. And I already committed to doing all right. So what's up, bag? We on live at eight. You disrespecting my city. You disrespected me in a sense so even if look, even if even if you did pay him for a walk even if so I, even that's what he, that, hey, i know you hey, did i know you didn't wait i got black and white don't do me that part i don't want to hear nothing about walk through i don't want to hear nothing about host man that ain't me man i can't do that i understand but you said you said that but that's what that's what the people say but even if so a walk through he could have came on stage look thank you new orleans thank you for supporting me i'm here let's crash out let's let's vibe out let's have fun he ain't do none of that. He grabbed a mic after a while and rap a song, a song or two out on the weed. He sung yeah. along with his song that Pop was already playing. That's what. He and just imagine, did. I'm a, I'm in the middle. I'm so damn disgusted. I'm kind of like, man. I was like, man, what is we doing? Homie was like, he couldn't even much go over there and, and, and talk to him. So that was one problem. But like I said before, I spent my money, man. I spent my money on me knowing what I'm spending my money on. I could never in my life down here. This is a man, the promotion business has always been a, a hard market, especially in New Orleans. And people have to open up their minds for a second. Not only do I have a problem in a sense where the consumer is mad with me, the people mad with me. Okay. Not mm -hmm. only is the people mad with me, I'm not saying like the Metropolitan is mad with me or the Metro because them people call me as a friend. The people call me the next day. We sat on the phone for like 30 minutes. They just was making sure I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm going to be all right. It's all right. All right, Carter. You're going to get through this, all that kind of stuff like that. Man, I got a relationship with them people. I never go sign a contract somewhere in my city. I remember at one time I couldn't even much get in the Metro, man, at one time. I'm talking about years ago. I'm talking about all like years ago, they wouldn't let me do a party and that. that's a long, another story because the people mm -hmm. that's there now, it wasn't even the same people. But listen, man, I never disrespect where I can sign my giant, my giant, you know, Hancock on and like we can get rolling. Like if I can sign Thomas Joseph Carter Jr. on something and it's a contract, I'm trying to get some bread, have some fun, move on, keep going, keep billing. And that's it. I'm not trying to get involved in no foolishness like him, man. This is foolishness. Right. So, man, I don't know. I don't, I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? And listen, bag, bag got the money, y'all. I paid him. I paid him his money. So when you're saying money, everybody thinking about money. He got the money. He got the money. I know. Well, that's I, obvious. That's obvious that he got money because he wouldn't he have came in there if he didn't have the money. Right. He would have never got out the truck. Right. That man, I, to bag though, to bag, he he don't know a hundred percent of what was going on. So that's how it be behind the scenes though. You got people take care of business, you know, you got your bros that eat off of stuff. That's why as much as I'm can, I'm trying to keep certain stuff com confidential because it's almost like, man, I didn't did business with this dude already before a couple of times. We ain't never had no problem. So when you give me your word on something and we doing something, that's just what it is, you know? I'm kind of I'm kind of confused on just everything because there's a better way to clean this up. By that night, we could have cleaned it up right there at that spot. You know what I'm saying? That could have been it. I would have, I would have took care of anything, and then me and you talk later to get this dude on stage and let's do what we doing. Just because it was, and you know, we can't talk about black and white right now too long. That's gonna create a fuss back and forth. Dude, my name came on the line. Dude, get this dude on the stage. So how to. 20, the 20, because it was really 20, Keith. But see how it come back 25? Carter don't have 25,000. Okay. All right. That's so foolish to me for the negative to travel out that section and to get to the internet. That's what happened. The man had agreed 
from my knowledge of like taking that all right because his man ain't even tell him the whole story is how i took it because somebody else went told him that instead of my man's who i did the business with he ain't even it's like he just i don't want to use the scared word bro because we all you know we men bro just like women we gonna defend ourselves so i don't want to call the homie like scared or nothing like that but it was almost like he wanted to stay away from him for a second or something it was weird to me mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden when i see he's still standing over there like dog i got I gotta, I gotta make a move. What y'all doing? I don't wanna. I don't wanna be in a club with this right now. And we could talk about whatever me and you partner on the on the back end on the phone. I didn't talk to him a couple of times actually. You know what I'm saying? And text a couple of times actually. So let's just take care of whatever we gotta do right now. We couldn't even get that done. It was almost like they was mad with each other or something because he couldn't even go holler at him or whatever. And I shouldn't have been in that position though. Cause I, I I ain't never had an artist come stand in those sections, so all that caught me off guard. Right. I had that spot. I had put that spot in hurry. I had to move girls out the way first of all. Mm -hmm. I had to move girls out the way because he needed some room to chill a second. Was what I was told. So I had to go move, move some girls out the way. I ain't even get to talk to them people yet on the business side of it, cause they know they. You know how business goes, so I know that's why they ain't gonna bother me right now. They already know where I'm at with it. I had to go move them girls out the way when I already committed to something because I need to make some room for some of his people to come over here to chill and he gonna chill a second is what I was told. But dog, you already been outside taking care of your problem outside for a little second. I wasn't out there, so I don't know what kind of problem it was. But I know he had a little situation outside, people waiting outside for, for, for a little second, you know what I'm saying? Before the club, matter of fact, before the club, club even was to, to open, the people was outside. They had to tell me they was outside waiting. From like, from like 8.30. 830. 8.30, they was waiting for him, man. So whatever that was about, that was a hold up. So now I got to make a section spot. He got some people with him. They need to chill. You know, like, man, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So I'm all in the blender. But I do know one thing one more time. If those little boys, bro, and I said little boys only because I'm I'm older than them, bro. I ain't trying to disrespect them, bro. Chris and Stay Cuz, straight up, bro. If you have a relationship like y'all portraying on the internet with dude, you should have been the verse for your homie, bro. Chris, I thought we were. I I thought we was like this. I only know you because of my partner. My partner that I know you through is like my brother. My brother, my brother feels some kind of way, like. Cause he ain't even know. I don't have nobody to talk to about that just right now. Cause I had to get on him. It was kind of like, what are we doing? Man, these people got on my stage, man. And you were spending money cause you saw my stage was for real, man. And everybody that keep before you was doing hosting, you can ask Dollar, Rude, you can ask Jug, you can ask anybody. Everything I ever did, and I did a lot, man. It was always live performance. Live in concert, live. And I was I was I was the wave at one time. Because it's hard to get the wave, but when you got it, you better keep it going. Yeah, masquerade and all that. I was used to be in there. Man, listen, man. So my 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 formula always had worked. I don't go against my formula if I spend my money. That's my formula of what I saw worked for me. That's what I saw worked for me. So that's that's what I have always done. Whatever else, man, then all I can say is all right, I got to take the punches and the bruises at this point. You know what I'm saying? Because I will get past whatever, you know, whatever, bro. We move on. Somehow, we still continue to move on. But, man, man, bro, what is it out to get T. Carter? Everybody want, you want, man, you want to get T. Carter now? You want to bring my name all the way down? Well, I'm, I'm blood, sweat, tears, man. I put my feet on the ground and work for every dollar. And, I, and, and one thing, bro, I don't put people's lives in, in jeopardy. And what I mean by that is, is everybody that's involved name is tied up into it. From the host, the DJs, to the people work at the door, everybody. Thank you for going that hard, Keith, with that promotion. Boy, you were going hard. I thought you was the one that just go hard for, man, you were going hard, bro, so thank you. And that's you know, what I solidified, and that's what it was supposed to be. Man, thank you, man. I'll never slander your name and put your name on nothing dealing with me. And it's a fraud or fake. It's not me, man. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't do nobody that. And on top of that, my child, my child, 
was at that door again. And if people don't have a, enough sense to open their mind up to think, my nephew was at that door. People was at, at that door. It's almost like how this how ruthless the world is. I always play the chess game first of anything of thinking I'm talking about. I'm going to put my, my child in harm's way. I'm going to put all these people in harm's way that I care for. Hell no, man. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to think and open up y'all minds and say, man, it's bigger than what we're trying to make it out of. And a, and a percentage of people, I hope, would do that. And then we, we, we move on because it's, it's like a hit at me right now. And I accept it. Now, whatever, what, are we, what, what are we doing, Keith? Jesus Christ. You're right. So, um, so I mean, you did have a contract. You did have a contract in line, and I guess the contract didn't go through, or whatever the case may be. So it sounds like, well, from what from what they were saying, you know, I'm gonna tell you the truth. So what they were saying, they said that the dude you did business with, uh -huh. I don't know him like that, but his name Larry. They were thinking you were talking about Larry Monroe, but we know, I know, I know who Larry. That's, so but say, look, but look, wait before you keep going. That's why I was trying to keep the name confidential because I didn't. Well, you know that bitch name. was flying around you know they were flying so, so around like like man, since you said it because i know because he tried to call me and talk about whatever whatever going with the with you know with the uh podcast i'm gonna be on or whatever like that and I, man I, I, I if, if that's if he called you saying that bag management team hit me up too if they go go there and call you on the slick side hey, well let's called, talk about he it called me, he called me he called me he DM me, asked me for my number. I ignored him because my man just said, what they want your number for if they want to talk, tell him meet you on the live. That's what it was say. But they say that Larry tried to go, Larry was the one who tried to, they say, go under and do it like a little side hustle and Bag didn't know what the fuck was going on. So in all actuality, Bag ain't the one that was wrong, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't know my his business. His partner was. But his was partner trying to wanted keep the little side thing. Listen, though, listen, though, out of respect for him because we did business before. I was trying to keep the name out of it. That's why I never said the name. Because the whole time I was going to already say the name because I'm keeping it 1,000. But sometimes you got to watch what you say. But I noticed earlier I was going to get something to eat. And I was like, I got a, a text message. And he in the text message, you know, talking about knowing that I'm going on a podcast and stuff like that. So I called him on the phone. And listen, I ain't even answer the phone when he called. I mean, when I missed the call. I waited till I got in my truck, right? And I recorded everything. I had recorded everything we talked about. Because I saw the foolishness, man. I'm a quick thinker. I see what you're doing, man. So I'm gonna recall what you're saying to me, or what you're trying to talk about, man, homie. I never, one time, ever agreed. You know what our agreement was? I saw where you was gaining a little bit more money because I even figured that out that night. You ain't tell that man everything, and that's just what it is. So for him to be worrying about me getting on a podcast, why you didn't worry about? The reputation of yourself, meaning Larry, and me standing there as two businessmen, and let's take care of the business, and me and you going to fix it later. What about caring about the fans, the people that came out to see this dude, the customers, the people that spend their money? Why Why he got time for negativity, too, when you already right. told me we going to fix it before all this came about? Man, come on, man. What's good? Caught up. What's up, man? Hey. Hey, I'm listening to every, look, I was on the live for a, a nice little bit. I'm listening to everything you're saying. Partner, I never went against you at all. I told Boonem that. When Boonem looked at me, Boonem said, what's going on? I said, uh, called him you talking. Uh -huh. Listen, yeah, just let me talk. Look, I'm chilling. I don't know what's going on. So, Bad called me like, come here. He's like, you know the promoter? I'm like, yeah, I know the promoter. I'm like, what's going on? He like, they handle because you know, Bag is the artist, so he's not going to never come talk to you personally. He in a section just chilling, so whatever Larry Live got going on, uh, uh, uh who Bam then was handling this, the business? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, blood. This how we get famous or something? Like what? This how we get famous? We get famous by being on the internet right now. I thought me and you knew each other. Yeah, we did. I just, I just hit you in the DM. I just got so, on it. Just like so, I was so getting on here. To so we don't know up. each other no more. Then you know. I, no, I thought, no, no, I thought, no, 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 no. I just got on here to be like, let me just say what I was gonna say and get off it. Like you see what I'm saying? I sent you the number. You did? Oh, All I, I was saying I got, is... I got this I, going on, so I can't entertain whoever whoever calling me. I can't entertain that right now. No, 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 I know, I know, but let me say what I got to say. Now, let go me ahead, say what ahead. I got to say. Go All ahead. I'm saying is, listen, he called me, I'm like, yeah, I know the promoter. This and this and that going on. I'm like, what's going on? He like, so in my mind, I'm like, he going to do two songs? They're like, he going to do two songs. So I go back, you can ask Boone him. I said, he going to, I go back, he said, what he going on? I went back, I went back by the corner where I was at and told Boone him. 
You ever seen me do it? Get on stage and do two songs. Let me ask you a question. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a business question. You ever seen me do anything that got some two songs involved? You should have saw the fuckery from Jump do it. Listen, but listen, I'm not in a business like that. They didn't invite me in a business like that to know no. all that. I'm with Bay. I'm with Bay. I'm not handling. I'm not. You ever seen me around you talking, uh, discussing the business with Larry Live or Bell? I don't know what's really going on. I'm thinking he's gonna do two songs. They gotta seem like, oh, why you ain't vouch for the? I vouch for the shit. I'm telling him that he about to get up there and do two songs. I don't even really know what's going on. I just came in as an entourage. Man, I don't know. They man, man, they call they call me. I ain't, I ain't had to come down there. I wasn't gonna come right. down there because Jason went down there. All I right. wasn't gonna come down there because Jason went down there. I had to come down there on the street. They calling like we in the city. I'm like, bet I'm gonna pull up on y'all. Right, right, right. But all that internet, internet shit talking about this and this. No, I only did that's like this man wanted two hundred for a ring because they telling me I should have vouched for you. I went. I oh, wasn't never being disrespectful. I ain't post nothing about you being jinky. I even told um, your man, your man's got that role though, blood. So why? I, I think I think a little bit. Yeah, that's between whoever man's and whatever right. like they doing. I, I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying when I say that your man's have that role down here in the wall. And before he was around you, I, I take it that my mind just telling me this that we were all right. And when he got involved with it or with you. It seems like things just have totally changed with you, my brother. Like it's it's different. You you're very different now. I ain't, I ain't oh. never seen. Let me Good. talk to you, dog. Let me talk to you. Your partner, who you did business with. When I say that partner word, that's why I never say the friend word. We know each other. We just go back years ago, right? When you starting to be who you want to be in your music career, right? You're spending money with me, partner. You're getting on my stage when I got the club packed out and we doing our thing, right? Everybody get on my stage because I spend my money. What I do? I ask you for money and you do. That's how you do. You got to pay your way to get ahead. So I treat everything as business, right? Right. Let me tell you. Let me tell you when I know it wasn't solid. When Stain got involved, I had a Jeezy event. Not this last Jeezy event I did, but the, that time before that I did snow. The people in the kitchen asking me who on stage rapping. I'm like, I don't know. They calling my phone, tearing my phone up. I'm like, I don't know. Man, your man stink. Play the, the sideline and give Ace, the DJ, for Jeezy, a thousand dollars to go rap on stage. Listen, bro, when I found out what was going on, I wanted to get on stage and flip the damn table over. Because first of all, I'm getting undercut on something that I put together. So right. I looked thing in his face and I told him, don't you ever fucking do that again, partner. You know what I'm saying? I said that to him because I kept it casual and I said, don't you ever do that again. That's disrespectful. I'm supposed to tell these people what's going on. So for him to grease somebody else's pocket on my time, that was totally disrespectful. I had to say something. Right. But listen, I was, I wait, 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 let me finish go this ahead, part. Go ahead, go ahead. Right, go ahead. You know how, how long ago that was? I said the time before I did Jesus. So if Jesus would have been last year, it would be it would be the time before that. It would be the time before that. So that's like two years ago, three years ago type stuff. Thanks just dabbed my hand the other day, like look at Carl the outside. So we being men about things and we moving on, even if I was a little too aggressive that night. Even if I was a little too aggressive that night three years ago, this is business. Don't disrespect me when I'm doing my business. Nah, not for sure. So when you fast forward and you just not say, man, look at Carl outside. Well, damn, dog, don't say it like that. That's something I'm thinking in my head. I ain't that old, nigga. I still come outside. You know, that's how, I'm making a joke out of it, right? You was happy to see me, I thought. Man, you wasn't happy to see me. You looking for something to bring somebody down for you to come up, my brother. And, and this ain't going to bring me down, my brother. It's going to teach me a lesson, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Right. So at the end of the day, bro, I don't know. I, bro, bro, what? why you ain't take care of the situation you saw me in? Because I had the money. Listen, I had the money. I no, I ain't never said. Money. You guys keep when I talk to you. I ain't never said you had the money. I said, when they wanted me to, to vouch, when he called me and said, you know the promoter, I said, yeah, I know the promoter. You asked him. That's when I went over there. I was never on this side. I walked on a totally different side. When he called me over there, he said, you know, promote. I said, yeah, I know T. Carter. I said, what's going on? Oh, they trying to get it together right now. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They saying they trying to get it together right now. I'm like, oh, they didn't invite me to their business to know what's going on. I never yeah. know you to do no walkthroughs, no nothing. Everything you did do, 
it was always the show. I never, never know you. You don't walk through the show. I'm confused, but I ain't about to get in their business. Man, I'm not about you to get saw, in you saw, you saw I heard he was gonna do two. So he said, "Oh, he about to get up there and do two songs." So let me answer that. Like let me answer said, that. Wait, 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 Chris. Let me answer that. That's even a problem in New Orleans. That two song shit. That's even a problem in New Orleans. I never put my name on something that say two songs or anything that has something to do with that dude getting on stage and getting off. That's still a problem. Right. That's what I, all I was told inside the section. All the promoters that have tried to do that, that's why they're not here no more. That's why they come and go. That's why the promoter game just kind of, it weaves itself out because it's more than to what some of them people used to be doing. Boy, I would have never put my name on that neither. So that ain't what it is. I'm telling you, it's more to what's going on. What's going on, understand. right. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know what nothing. I went over that. When he called me, I'm like, what's going on? He like, you know the promoter? I'm like, yeah, I know, dude. I'm like, what's going on? He said, they trying to get it together now. He was puzzled. He was just chilling. He was trying to figure out what was really going on. So he really getting word from the team. I ain't never known you for to have no type of walkthroughs, no hostings, no nothing. I thought everything was going to be live and perform. I thought we were going on, on stage at the same time. And I went back by the front. He said, oh, I don't know if the money shot. I, I ain't said nothing disrespectful at all. I did was post what I posted. People were saying, and my DM saying, man, you should have took up for Carter. I said, I talked to him, man. How far you want me to go in the business situation? I posted, man, I want 200 for arena. I never posted, tag you or try to clown you on Instagram when that shit was going around at all, because I don't care like that. I'm always humble about the situation. I don't disrespect no nigga on, his, on no Instagram. I made a repost some shit, and I made a post some shit like, this what it is. Nah, cuz, nah, you can't say you are disrespect, dog, when that is. I ain't I, you felt like I disrespect you? Man, one thousand percent, man. One thousand, one thousand. Man, one one billion percent. One billion percent. All right. How? My nigga, the home team. The home team. The home team. All right, we gonna talk about it off. Okay. Let me say it since you're on here, cause we we gotta be the internet. We cloud chasing right now. Both of us, we cloud chasing. That's what we doing. That's how it look like. What we doing? That's goofy. Right. Listen, dog. Your man's in the jam who you didn't did business with before. If you see me in the jam in the water and I can't swim right now because I can't think all the way right now because I'm in the moment. Y'all in club. Y'all in club mode. I'm in business mode trying to get right. the business together that should have been together, right? Right. And all of a sudden, I see people on the home team getting on the internet, making posts. Is the Metro an arena? Is the Metro an arena? You can get bagged for Lord and that's so why y'all put that number up there, man. People, come on, man. Why y'all put that number big. up Two hundred K? That's big. Listen, he ain't getting no two hundred K everywhere he got. Nah, that nah, even in nah, 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 no, nah, nah, no. So why max the number out and do me that? It's a hit at me, dog. No, that was like a uh, arena. He probably get two hundred. Like certain shit, he gonna it's get certain two hundred. Shit, he can get a max. Yeah, no, we never say he'll get two hundred at the right. metro. Now, oh, that was just bullshit. All right. Whatever. We all right, but you just say it all so that you don't know me forever doing a, a, a host walkthrough or nothing. That's so what I'm trying to say. I, I never know you for the. I never know for it to go like that. Period. All right. So if you know me for doing what my formula is, ten years, ten years, I got gray hairs coming out this beard, dog. I ain't never do no foolery, fuckery, try to advance on nothing by that foolishness that lasts for four hours. I'm gonna say it one more time for people that got a brain. I got people that help me that's been helping me for years. If I say something wrong, false, treat the consumer bad, who does it fall on? Me. me. You it falls way. on me, right? That means I put all my family and all my people in jeopardy that I care for? Man, right. y'all people, man, come on, man. I wouldn't even do my people that, first of all. That's right. my family. All them around me is my people. Chris, you do this thing since y'all that close, because y'all posting. You should have went and took care of that for OG, man. Please. I'm a, I'm a little older than you. I know Stank a little hey. younger than you, but I'm still older than you, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, Stank yeah, older than me. Stank, Stank older than me. But listen, the, the, the person we really fuck with wasn't there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It was Larry Live. Larry Live and I, I Bam. Thought, we fuck, look, we fuck with them, but Jason, like, we tied them with Jason. Jason went down here. I know, but look, even, listen. You saying you don't fuck with J Jason? Jason do the booking. Man, the way y'all showing it is like y'all fuck with Bag. Tough, tough. No, 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 no. We talking about the people that what you was doing business for. No, we fuck with bag. Well, why not nah, go please. over there and say, man, let me pull you to the side, blah, 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 the home team, man, home, blah, blah. But, but bag listen, know me, though. I spent my money three my, times already with bag. I understand that, but listen, I'm caught up in the club like to where I don't, I don't know what's really going on like that, like that. I don't know you in a pickle. I just know what they say. 
he ain't uh, 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 doing them back there, doing he gonna do two like two songs. I'm like, I'm telling Boone, I'm like, Boone, I'm like, what are you gonna do? You guys, Boone, I'm like, they say you gonna do two songs. What the fuck? I don't know. I ain't in the corner talking to you when I ever jumped in the nigga business. They didn't invite me to no business to jump in for me to just say, oh, woo -woo. so I'm expecting him to go still, get on stage and do what he gotta do. That's still not keeping it solid, Chris, when you say that. You what's, what's, jumping what's, in the what's, business because you posting. You and your partner posting. That is being no, in the we business. Posting like, we posted. No, look, I'm telling you, we posted. Man, what's I the post, crime? All right, let me show you what I saw when I woke up, though. Let me show you what I saw when I woke up. This is the first thing, all that caught my attention. This is what I saw when you said bag gonna be on here. Like, that's what I saw. When, when, like, when I say bag gonna be what? Your post when you say about bag, you telling them I'm gonna be up right here on eight o'clock. No. I saw that when I opened oh, I ain't never say, I ain't never say bag. I ain't never say T Carter. But no, it was a joke. Cause, cause, cause they already, I already talked to Keith yesterday, last night, then four. He like, I'm going out. I'm like, all right. That was a joke when I made a pussy. Let me say this, dog. You know, let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you, my brother. Look, let me tell you this, my brother. Let me tell you. Because I know people, and I haven't talked to really nobody, especially about this situation. But, bro, you're putting a sour taste. I'm keeping it 1,000 with you. You're putting a sour taste in a lot of people's mouth that know me, know me. And I'm not saying no, nothing, all that, all that extra. Bro, shit. I never disrespected you. I never went to the internet play. I just posted what I posted. And if I, if I disrespected you, I apologize like a man on you. I'm sorry. For you taking it high, I was supposed to just jump in them dudes business uh, in the cone then. I'm not invited to nobody business. Big homie? You the big uh, homie. You the, the big homie. You the OG? You the big I'm homie. I'm the big homie. I'm not the big homie. No, I'm, I'm just like, saying I disrespect my big homies. No. Bro, I gotta see. That's what I'm saying. Well, I never child, disrespected bro. you. I never man, disrespected you on no tell you what I'm trying to tell you, dog. Let me tell you what I'm trying to tell you. I See me? See me, my cut, big homie, that, that big homie word and that OG word, you can't use that word when you don't live by the rules of just calling it. I live, it. Man, I live by the rules. big homie in the jam, it. dog, and I, my bread all right, thank God. I humbly say no, you So you know it ain't about no right. bread. And, and, and shit, I could get your career farther than what that little dude doing because he goofy. Like, that. that's how I really feel about Stank. Every time he tried to get me behind the scenes to be on something that he was doing and I found out that he was involved, you can't hire your car to dog. I ain't put my name on nothing that got something to do with Stink. Why? Because he's already tattooed. He's right. tattooed. That don't mean I got a problem with Stink. That mean on a business level, I don't want no tarnish on my name because of Stink. Right. If I mess up my name, I'm going to mess up my name. But see that big homie word, bro, and OG word, my nigga, you can't use that word when you're posting about the big homie. I, I ain't never posted, post big homie. I never posted about you. I was just explaining to the people that was in my DM. Man. That's what I'm telling you. Niggas in my DM like, why you ain't vouch for Carter? Why you ain't help Carter? I say, partner, I went over there to see what was going on with Carter. What far more you want me to do? I want I say, you to do nothing you right next because you ain't do nothing. I wasn't even thinking to ask y'all nothing, to be honest. I was trying to take care of business. That's that that what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, you did. But why nigga to the internet then, partner? Like, that's what I'm no, saying. No, because I'm telling I'm telling the nigga, like, listen, this man get paid 200 Like, this is what a concert is. Man, y'all keep maxing that arena. number out, man. No, Stop doing we're that, we talking about arenas. You right. We talking about arenas, but we talking about the club at the end of the day. That's two different levels. For however much you pay for them. However much you got them for? Half? What do you got them for? Half? Or what? Get them for... Oh, you know, I still had to go in my bag to get the dude down here. You, you, come no, on. No, for sure. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm not in your... I'm not in the promotion business, bro. I never... Big homie, I never... See, I never know you for to do no hosting or no walk-ins. I'm still in the blind with the shit. So when people say, oh, you was double bag. Why you ain't co-sign? Why you ain't... I say, look, dude want this for the arena. I don't know what he want for no... What they had agreed to at the end of the day. That's all T. Carter. I never bash you. When shit going around, shit, I never reposted nothing. They're sending me shit. I never reposted. All right, can we can we finish this another time, man? I put too much time into uh man, I, I'm sorry to my city. That's that's what this is about. Uh this ain't about all what we talking about. I'm notice I'm all off, off track, dog. I ain't even know I was gonna get hit really all these different ways. Man, what's going on right now with me? It's not my jacket. What people are trying to say and put on me is not my jacket. I'm not, I, I, that, a part of what, what people are trying to say is a part of being fraud. You don't make it and keep living through life doing foolish stuff, okay? And, and this, what goes around keeps coming around. It's like the world gonna send back to you what you put out. Man, I never put out no fraud or taking. Everybody saw from me for years. 
blood, sweat, tears, put my feet on the ground. I'm teaching my son, and I proudly say this, I'm teaching him how to make money, do things the right way and stuff like that or whatever, whatever. So this would be a flaw on my resume if I wasn't keeping it 1,000. I'm the big homie, though. I'm the big homie. I'm the big homie humbly saying I'm the big homie because I put my feet on the ground out here. And everybody around me, I keep them motivated. That's what big homies do. People with passion, heart, stuff like that. Oh, this foolishness, man. We playing this internet behind some negative. Let me find something positive the next time put me on here. Keep, let's do that, man. Because this is stupid to me. It, it's hurtful to me. Man, we got to live here in this city. And I got to deal with this foolishness, a crying and laughing emoji or whatever. It ain't no beef because I ain't going to treat it that way. It ain't no beef. But when I say this, dog, you're not living 100% 1 billion. It's, it's, it's goofy. You getting on the internet, you're posting laughing emojis, you're doing all that. I didn't even know we do all that. But see, I hadn't committed to talking to you already, so I couldn't entertain that. Right. So, man, I mean, that, this, this is like wild to me. I ain't never clout chasing. I stay off the internet and I'll pass my card out to everybody in the, in the city. They got more people in the city for me to pre give them a presentation of Thomas Carter if the internet think it's going to beat me with the foolishness. Y'all need to know who it is and, 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 and stop jumping when y'all see the negative right away. There's more always to the story. Man, he caught me off guard just now when he said, Jason, I Oh, that's big, huh? So listen, this ain't over because Larry trying to come in. Larry trying to come in and say what he got to say. So we're going to let Larry in too. But listen, I don't think that he's blaming. I don't think he's blaming, blaming, um, he ain't blaming Chris. He not blaming Chris. I don't, well, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't feel like Chris. Chris is not Chris' fault. I'm going to say that. I don't feel like it's Chris' fault because at the end of the day, how I'm taking it, and I don't know none of them people. Yeah, Larry trying to come in and see. How I feel is, I feel like, okay, how can I put it? In, 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 let's dumb it down. Let me dumb it down some. I don't think he blaming Chris. He not blaming Chris. He not blaming Chris. But let me, I'm going to say like this. Say me and Ross. Ross is big old rapper. I'm one of Ross management team, managers. Ross Looker. They got this dude trying to give, trying to give me 75 bands. We're going to be in the area. Let's walk in. Or trying to give me 100 bands. Let's walk in that hole. Whatever the case may be. I'm going to pop you off or whatever the case may be. Da, 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 da. All right. Ross be like, let's go in there. We went in there not knowing that Dude then probably promised the promoter that he gonna do this, this, and that, and give him this, this, and that. So to be honest, Bag looked like he was in a blind too. The only person looked like they knew what was going on was Larry. And like, if I could book you through Larry, who I done, done business with, for I'm just saying for 100K, to whereas if I go do it the right way and book you for 200K, I'm gonna go fuck with Larry because Larry, my partner, and I did business with Larry. Y'all in the area, whatever the case may be. Look, let me give you this 100K, and he coming in and do one or two songs for me, and, and I make a, you know, I make a quick bag. This and that, this and that. I don't feel like it was no ill will intention on 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 on, on money bag, and I don't feel like it was a no ill will on Carter. I think Larry just promised something that he couldn't do, thinking that oh, while I'm managing bag, you see what I'm saying? So bag will do this favor for me, 
and let me get this bag. You know what I'm saying? And all she read the bag was like, fuck no, I ain't doing it. And it is what it is. I think that's how it went. I think that's how it went. Okay, so they texting. All right, well, oh, he said, oh, see what I'm saying? They got the receipts going. Oh, see what I'm saying? They're going to receipts. All right, well, this is, listen, see what I'm saying? The story done changed now. See what I'm saying? This is getting big now. I don't know why they don't want to come on here, but they DM me. So I'm going to show you who it is. It's, J it's Jason, the one that everybody talking about, the Jason person. This is Jason. I'm guessing Jason wasn't there. I don't know. Jason said, Y'all can't see it's going blurry. Only agreed to do one song. I don't know what's going on. So it see, here go the contract. Contract states. Wait, let me get this business here right. Yeah, because see, no contracts with shows. So let me see what's going on. All right, here we go. So we got the contract. LL Booking and Promotion. Oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? On the contract, as you can see, this is the contract for money bag. This is money bag management right here sending me the contract. It's, as you can see from that, what they just sent me, the host word is crashed out and live is written in. So Carter ain't lying. Carter ain't lying. Y'all see what's going on? The host, the host word is crashed out and the live part is wrote in. This ain't coming from Carter. This coming from the management. Y'all see what's going on? All right. Well, look, they just cleared it. They just cleared to call them. Y'all see who it's from? Y'all see who it's from? Call them, reply back, bet the live cool, but can't guarantee four songs, but one for show. And it just depends on the vibe if he do more. The management team say, which is the booking manager that was verified just now, with 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 young and with Carter, the, the management, the booking manager, who they say is Jason, say, "Cool, bro, I'm going to create the vibe. Just tell him the day of, take care of me." Four time booking. That's the receipt. That's the conversation, and they go to the contract. Oh God, what's going on? So you mean to tell me bag Jack the Jacker? I don't know what's going on. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying I'm going to stick with the R&B part. The people come, when they come in there singing, putting niggas and bitches in their feeling, the people come with soft hearts. See that hard rap shit? That's B. They come with it on their mind. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what's going on. The vibe, yes, the vibe was set. I don't know what's going on. Let me see what's going on. All right, well, here we go. It ain't supposed to have lines through it. It's supposed to be remade to the right word. Well, this was sent from. <laughs> Come on, man. You know where I'm at with it? I'm back on here. What we got going on, man? I just, you know, just so Jason... That's what well, that's what the contract right there. So they did guarantee a song. Why bag didn't do the song? What's you putting it on stage? That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, I'm not in business for him to be doing all that. Like, but I'm listen, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. You really had nothing to do with it. Now I ain't gonna lie. Bitch, if I'm in the jam and you stand there, I hope you would say, wait, hold up, hold up. Bitch, I fucking keep. Listen, listen, he called me over there. He called me and say, come here. I come out. I said, what's up? He said, you know the promo. I said, I know the promo. I said, what's going on? He said, they're trying to handle it. So I look over there in the corner. Larry Live, bam, them handling the business. 
I am not in, I'm not about to go walk over there and be like, man, look, what's going on? We need to get him on stage. Like, I'm running the show or something, doing stuff. Fuck no, I just stood right there like, they gonna take care of it. So when I see him hand the mic in the, um, in the section, I'm like, what the fuck going on? I don't know. Like, you did? I go by boot. I'm thinking they gonna do, you know, he probably did. So I ain't never just like saying. No, Carter, you ain't lying. Like that. You ain't lying. They sent it all over. They played in your face. <laughs> they played in your face. <laughs> Man, this shit, shit wild, though. This they play wild. to your face. Listen, let me, let me respectfully do that because I got the actual, the actual contract was shit. Let me tell you what he do. When I'm rushing to the bank, it was a cutoff time to send the wire to do Chase. Regis, Regis right. Bank, huh? Look, he even got that on there. Wait, 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 wait. I was going to Chase to do the wire, right? I wound up having to go to Regis. So as I'm rushing during the day, when I finally got a chance to read, I think me and my girl was together. When I finally got a chance to read the contract and look over everything, like, bro, we ain't agreed to nothing about hosting or nothing like that. He tried to throw that word on that we agreed to lie. We agreed to that dude performing. He told me he was going to take care of the business. He reset the contract. We didn't solidify everything by the text message. You're trying to show a text message. You don't spend a hundred and something plus grand on an artist by doing shit, by tapping your fingers. So we got on the phone. He said he's going to fix everything and resend stuff to me like he did. I sent my money thinking somebody I did business with is going to take care of the business like he said he will. Man, it wasn't never nothing about no one song, man. One, two song, all that. We never, we never stamped the seal that. And the person who I was texting, that's not Jason. That's not Jason. His name. His name is Larry. You already said his name is Larry. So why are he saying Jason? Jason? Oh, see, Larry. Well, Larry must have sent this to Jason. Jason wants sent it to me. But right here, you paid him fifty thousand up front, and you paid him fifty-five thousand on the back end. So one hundred and five thousand for a nigga to walk in the club and sit in the section. I'm in the wrong fucking business. Listen to what I heard. Oh, fuck? Listen to what I heard them slip and say. Listen to what I heard them slip and say. This is a brutal business. Let me tell you why. Man, if that dude made fifteen, twenty thousand dollars out of that cut. Boy, man, you, you, Larry, I thought we was going to keep all that confidential because you was going to take care of me, like, like you putting out there like dude is going to perform, right? And like, it's okay for me to promote live and all that, right? I sent it to his phone, like, hold up, bro, I'm sitting in the bank. I actually was sitting there and started reading through the contract and saw what he was doing, scratched it out and sent, sent it to him, called him on the phone before they sent the wire. He said he going to redo that, send that back to me. Got, got it right here, right? So however I need to do that, you want me to post it in my story? Okay, I will. I'll post the new shit that we did. But this is somebody who I did business with already. Whole time. Times. Listen, though. I can tell he was getting greased a little bit more money and then put his foot in his mouth. Because why are Jason involved in something? Because Jason really the one who do the booking. That's why, That's why I should have really called Jason. That's what that lets me know about Larry. Since we got to get on here and speak truth for truth then. Larry, you're down bad, man. You're down bad because I had been trying to get back to the city on a good number, and it's always been about performing. Man, he put that, that one phone stuff in the text message after the fact. He didn't even comment to that because we talked over the phone to discuss business before I sent the wire. He tried to change up everything when whoever, I guess the BAM dude. See that BAM dude? I could tell he had to say so of what was going on right there. But let's throw all that away. Wait, let's throw all that away. Fuck how much Larry made, right? I'm telling them, let's fix it right now. Me and you, Larry, since I see the fuckery going on, let's me and you, Larry, fix it at a later date. He tell me, okay, bro. But it's like he was scared to go over there to talk to him. So, man, man you played me, dog. You played me. You played me, my nigga. And I'm going to post it on my story the new contract, which is sent, because you did try to, I caught that in the beginning, but I'm in crunch time, trying to get you your bread so I can start promoting this event. You tell me you're going to take care of the business. You took care of the business, resent the, the, the stuff to me, but when your people got involved, you started to fold up. And I noticed you started to fold up. I, supposed, I was supposed to have a drop right away, and I was supposed to get a quick post right away to solidify he's coming down here to perform. I swear to God on my my heart. I don't know why I ain't stick to my guns and stay pressure to his neck. But they go Larry right there. Yeah. What's up, Larry? What's up, Larry? 
This internet stuff is dangerous, man. What's up, Larry? You gotta stop lying, my boy. I'm gonna show, hey, my man, look on your DM. You're gonna see the text, right? The text that you're reading, I told him on that message what, what it said. He asked me, he said, hey, and I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna screenshot it. He said, hey, I need him to do about four or five songs, right? And, and that's, that's what, what the I was response saying. was that's back. What I he said, hey, said, I need to promote the show. He just saying live, because I told him Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's stop host. what you just not saying. Yeah, it, I, I booked him for hosting, right? So he was like, look, but I can't do hosting. I can't promote his hosting. I got to say live. You said that after I had spent my money like five, six days late. But look, I'm not guaranteeing you. I'm only guaranteeing you one song. The bag is only gonna do one song. And I be and if the vibe is cool, if the vibe cool or whatever, whatever he feel like doing some more songs, he's gonna do it. What your boy T say? That's T response his response response was cool. I'm gonna make I'm gonna set the vibe right. Take care of me, bro. So he knew the whole time that there was the agreement. Now the whole time I was telling him, hey man, if I can get him to do some more songs, I will. But that's on him. I can't promise you. That he gonna do more than one song. I and that's what the text showing. I can show you all. Matter of fact, I'm gonna right, DM, DM you all the text messages, bro. All the text messages. I got all the text messages. So Even put when he promoted, up. and right after that, and he know he wasn't supposed to put performing live, right? Nigga, two days later, after he sent the thing, he got flyers out on Ticketmaster live on on Eventbrite, Moneybag, yo, performing live in Metro. You changed he called him. It up. Right? You asked you me to change it up after the bag is performing live. you I'm gonna wait till you finish. He's not performing live unless you want to pay some more money. I'm gonna wait till you finish. Some more money. What's the offer? He come back and try to make another offer, right? Actually, the bag said he'll do it for that offer that he came on the extra money. But guess what? He never sent the money for that. So he came back and like, no, I'm just gonna do the regular, the regular thing. Just make it work for me, lad. Just try to make him. Just try to make it work for me. Hey, I do what I can. But the only guarantee, only thing that was guaranteed. Was one song performing? You see it in the text yeah. message, bro. We ain't never, so we ain't I never agree. Bullshit, you got to stop the cap, T. And look, well, let me talk. Can I talk? You, you said that on here, like, bro. I don't even want to embarrass you like this. You I don't even want to put your business enough. out there. I said, yeah, I ain't you said enough. Say, let me talk now. If you go on this on this podcast and try to bash me, I'm gonna put all this shit. It's gonna make you look bad, but, bro. And I don't want to make you look bad. Now I gotta put it all up now. Leave the shit alone because it clearly says in all my texts, he's only guaranteed to do one song, one song on. So let's keep it real now, T. I ain't want to do you like that, my boy. So let's just keep it a can buck, I, homie. Can I now, talk you know, now? I'm done with it. You know, I got to get back to get my feet done, my boy. You hear me? All right. You know all right, I'm going to hit you. Just, my bad. Hold on. I'm back on here. Hold on. Yeah, I got to get back to get my feet done. I'm getting my nails done. You know, this VIP shit with me, man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. You feel me? With the anchor mind. Hold on. Hold on. And I'm with the anchor mind. I saw the anchor mind in the stage. I'm like, what's going on? Can you hear me? I saw it. Can y'all hear me? Did y'all hear me? Yeah. I can't hear y'all. I can't yeah, hear. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, they come out on Saturday with slippers. I can't hear. Oh, my goodness. You ain't changed. Larry, you ain't changed. Oh, y'all. I'm about to say, Larry, you ain't changed the contract. You can click them all. No, I click. He clicked his cell phone. Check this out. He ain't want to let me talk. He kept talking. I got all the text messages, y'all, since we got to go that far. Like I said, I was really keeping everything conf confidential because it's business. Listen, I didn't read the contract until I'm sitting in that seat. I'm reading the contract before I'm sending the money. I'm just going through it, going through it, and going through it. And that shit stood out to me what he, what he, what he had on there. So before I send him the money, I scratch it out, take a picture, call him on the phone. Larry, I ain't never agreed to this song here. We agreed to five, six songs. That was from junk. It was cool to promote how I was going to promote. That's what you're telling me. Everything is cool. All that stuff with text messages he's showing, when the promotion got out, he tried to call back and change it up. He's not showing that part, so I'm going to have to show that part. I had to go through that with him. In the midst of getting me to send my money, I was agreed to him performing. Never know one, two, three songs, none of that foolishness. I don't even do that. That's even, that's even some shit you can't do in New Orleans. So when I'm telling him just to take care of me, I'm not saying take care of me about no bad. Uh, about no bag. I'm talking about take care of the paperwork. Take care of me. Do the good business. And all right, let's go. Give me my drop. Give me everything that I need. But I know that this is what it's about right now. It's about you made a little bit more money than what it was. 
to give to bank. You ain't get that man all his money. That's why you're scared to go over there to talk to him. Now I can use the scared word because you ain't say everything. We got to show ankle monitors and all this foolishness. Who solidify a hundred and something thousand dollar contracts through text messages? Where they do that at? I tell my family, y'all got to get off of that texting. I'm a phone call person. They all know that about me. You don't solidify nothing. He's trying to show something after the fact. All right. He sent that, that text message talking about some one song in it. Imagine how fast my heart dropped and I hurry up and call this dude on the phone. What, what you talking about? I ain't never agreed to nothing like that. This is after I sent my money. This is right. after I sent my money. Don't worry about that. T. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take care of it or whatever like that. We gonna make this. We gonna make the thing work or whatever like that. That's because his ass had got busted in the beginning. Cause I ain't hear about this, this foolishness to days later. That text message don't come out until later, where he tries to like, like change up what he did. And that's when Bam, with me not paying attention, you got him involved now. Cause now you got an answer to him. I should have just went book through Jason, bro. Jason is a little bit more, not a little bit more. He's way more confidential where he's going to stamp and seal what you're doing. Larry, you're down bad. You, you made way more money off of this than what it was. And you told me you was going to take care of the business in there. And I thought off good business that we did already before. It wouldn't even much be all this. And I'm going to go get my toes and nails done tomorrow and all that, get a haircut and everything else and show that on Instagram. It's like we clout chasing. What is we doing? So I'm keeping it his name on the tuck, his name come up and he get on here and try to hit me with that. So now I got to throw out all the new receipts and all that and stuff. So I'm going to do it. Let's keep going. But listen to this though. The crazy so, part. Wait, wait, wait. I, let me say this. Let me say this and I'll get off of it. Man, do you not know when he called me in the beginning, the same $20,000 that he said he had taken the club that I said I had when he called and said something about I said, well, I'll fix it to what you do. I'll give you twenty more thousand dollars. I tell him that. Then he changed up and said, Don't worry about that. I'ma go ahead and take care of what I what I agreed to. So basically, if you would have took that fucking twenty then and you tell me no and we get in the club and I'm willing to spend more money, it's showing me that you plan on me, Larry. It's showing me you plan on me. Because the same money is the same money. I don't care if it would have costed me forty. And I take an L because I got played. I just got played. All right, cool. I move on, right? But I saw the fuckery in the beginning. It was like Bam had to go do all the talking. It was like him and him in a bag or something just wasn't seeing eye to eye at that time or something. You could feel the energy. So it's like, damn, damn I'm in the middle of this. This is foolishness, man. You Who solidifies a contract through text message? Who Right. Solidifies contracts through text message. And the reason why I sent the picture of the contract, because the bank wire is about to shut down. All right. Look, Larry, take care of this and resend me this. And now let's move forward. Okay, bro, take care of that, whatever, whatever, whatever. Man, we never had talked about no host, so that's the red flag to be honest right there in the beginning. But I'm thinking everything 1,000 would hold me. He tried to throw in, and you see me change it. Then we get on the phone and I talk to him. Okay, I'm going to resend that. Blah, 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 blah. I'm spending that kind of money. And you think I'm going to tie up that kind of money for that? Man, listen, man. It's always was the agreement from up jump with men do for him to get up there five, six songs, do his thing. That one song, two songs, three songs, all that kind of foolishness. I don't do no bullshit like that. So right. next message a text message still go further than what he's trying to say and jason shouldn't be the one sending nothing for you homie when you're trying to just clean yourself up that's all that say behind the scenes so now you got to get on here with your ankle monitor and you getting your nails done well i'm, I'm gonna ask my girl to massage mine when i make it home then massage my feet baby. like what you what, what are we doing out here man come on man so new orleans y'all y'all help me figure out how to fix this last night i spent money and over there at the ball the tree house or whatever. Uh, you know, I hope that my name forever goes a long way with that. I'ma get past this. Larry, you're down bad, boy. We all goofy out here. You're down bad. Cause straight up ain't nobody solidifying no contracts through no text messages, man. Stop it, man. Come on, Larry. We booked many times before, Larry. Stop, man. What we doing? You trying to clean your name up on the 
and you was trying to stay out of it in the club because you know you fucked up. That's what it was. You fucked up. And I said, don't worry about it. We gonna, me and you gonna take care of it, whatever it is. And I saw what it was. I just didn't want to say, boy, you made, when he said the number that he had gave back, I said, oh, this nigga, he got me. I heard I already felt it. But how much more I got to spend right now to clear this problem? So you spent 105 bands and they wanted 20 more? Listen to what I'm saying. He agreed to the money that I spent, the 105, to do the performance. That's what's understood from jump. When I get to the bank, I saw a flaw in something that I should have been paying attention to. So beforehand, I should have read this contract, right? But still, I caught it. I scratched it out what he was trying to do. I sent it to him in a text message. I get right on the phone with him when, before I send the bread. You see, there's no messages after that. Who gonna discuss something that they know is in the text messages? And, and I'm trying to send a wire. I'm trying to take care of business. You don't discuss business through a text message. So I call him on the phone. And he said he's gonna take care of it, resend me a contract, everything's fine. That was that's one thousand. That ain't one hundred. That's one thousand. What we talked about. It was already understood. Man, as the days went on, the days went on. I was supposed to get my drop, I was supposed to get my post, I never got it, right? Then all of a sudden, out the blue, I get a call from him before I get the call from him and Bam on the phone. Now I'm knowing this got to be the same person because the dude that was standing in the corner, I ain't really know his name, but I'm putting two and two together now that that was bad. So maybe that's to take care of the road stuff, right? Man, mm -hmm. all of a sudden he's trying to get me to change up stuff. That ain't what I agreed to. Well, how much it going to cost more or whatever, whatever, whatever. He come back, I send the offer, all right? Because I saw the flaw because his man got involved, right? Man, and that's probably because somebody saw the promotion, maybe like Jason, somebody, somebody saw it. Something had to happen for me to get a phone call two weeks later type shit. Like it was later, it was later on where they was trying to switch up some things. So he says, all right, don't spend the money. He gonna take care of it, whatever, whatever like that. The point I'm trying to make by this, let me fast forward to something. That same 20000 that you told me don't worry about, you're going to take care of it. That's where the take care of the message when we communicate and come from. That same money was the same money I could have spent the night when I was in crunch time. Why the fuck we doing this goofy-ass shit on this internet? If you cared about New Orleans, dog, we could have did whatever. Like, I looked him in his eyes and I said, bro, me and you could talk at a later date. But it's like, bam, got more control than you and I spent my money with you. That's because your fucking ass had not took more money than what it is. And I ain't saying that in no beefing way. Well, you really played on me. And it was like your man, everybody was mad with each other. You could see the animosity amongst, amongst them, in a sense. Because it was like, damn, bro, like, how we fix this? So, okay, fix it. Let me spend more in my head, whatever it is. Because y'all told me, yeah, he going to take the money. And then, other, then all of a sudden, out the blue, he going to stand there or whatever, whatever like that. He's just standing there. The bag going to chill a second is what I was told. That's because it starts with Larry, man. Everything with this starts with Larry. Straight up. So you took it as though Larry with the crew or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to fuck with Larry. Even though Jason do the booking, I'm going to fuck with Larry because that's Larry, the, Larry inside. So I'm going to fuck with Larry. And all the while, Larry ain't really inside like that. I can't really say it like that, though. That's why I wasn't really trying to go too far on Larry. I don't, I don't really do this internet stuff, so it's like this is all surprising for me. So it's like I ain't know, I ain't know Larry was gonna get on the internet, do that. So I'm gonna receive it up on the internet after I guess I get off. If I put time into that tonight, but y'all will get it. Y'all will see everything through the phone of what I agreed because you gotta go further than that. You gotta. Yeah, I, 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 well, yeah, I'm like, listen, I won't listen, upload you gotta do it. this to your phone. You know how you do this to your phone? Scroll all the way. Down down and let's start from the beginning that's how i'm a concrete so i got a concrete to play fire for fire now what yeah because I, 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 I would like for you i'm gonna be waiting for you to upload it because ain't no way 105 then to be honest the people know us didn't even get the one song yeah he tried to sing from his section his little from the section the so mic, people in the back the people in the middle of the club to the back and to the side that's because the man saw that's because the man saw what was going on dog the man you could tell they had animosity towards each other i'm gonna even have to figure out how to upload what i told you i recorded and what i talked to him in my truck i said i said larry on the phone earlier you gonna hear it. i said larry how you got time to put time into the foolery right when we could have took care of the business with me and you in the club 
that's what you told me you was going to do, but you couldn't do it. Your, your partner had to go talk for you because that man evidently didn't want to talk to you. That's how it looked and felt to me. That's what it felt like. So even when if some of his side wrong, some of my side wrong, man, I still got the bag on me. What I got to do to spend to put this, you know what I'm saying? Let's take care of business. And then to, to know that he know that I booked him times before, bro, and you know who the person is, and for you to roll out on us like that, that was really more slap in the face also. But, you know, business is business, though. You don't really know what the details of the story is, so you can't really even put it on the artist. You can't put it on Bam. Who you put it on is who involved me and Larry. That's who you got to put it on. And my agreement with never 10 years running, I'm talking about with doing live performances. I've been promoting longer. But, man, come on. No. Oh, man so he's stopping right there in his messages you got to stroll before that and then i got to go on the email i got to find the contract to show where this is sent and then i got to do all that and put business like that confidential business on the internet now i got to do that when we could have just took care of the business right then and now i take whatever pressure and everything on my back and we all like we clout chasing and stuff i'm confused man it's not even cool but all right, what, I mean, what's next? Who who else want to talk? Who who else want to talk? Lord. Who want to talk next? Anybody? This is foolishness. Yeah, this 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 this, this cool. No, cool. listen. Let me say this. Everybody around here, right? Promoters too. Promoters, the host, whatever. Even like even like little Larry. Little Larry know I'm a numbers guy. Little Larry know Larry years ago early. <laughs> Larry's like, I'm going to figure you out, Carter. Like, you know, you know I'm a numbers guy. Man, spend $105,000 on a host? Man, I throw this whole phone away. Never have a phone again in my life, if y'all think I agree. $105,000 for a nigga to stand in a section? Man, I'm gone. I can't, I can't, this shit, like, retarded to me. All this shit retarded. You can't make no money off of no host on a hundred and five. If Bitch, listen. You mean to tell me a hundred and five thousand dollars to walk in and stand there and sing along? I got the AG Willie Papa on you. I got the AG Willie Papa on you. A hundred and five thousand. To walk in a club with a Route 21 shirt with the sleeves cut off and stand in a section with girls from New Orleans for 105000 Listen, I, first of all, let's start here first. I don't know what's going on. Let's start here first. I was sweating at closing when I had to sit down and give away $34,000. Bitch, I was sitting there sweating. I had to take my hat off at the closing. I was sweating so bad. You mean, listen, and as I'm sitting over my paperwork to get in the house, I had to look at, at the man in his eyeballs and see, what's up? What are we doing? At this point, I felt right giving him my money to get in the house. You think I would have trust a nigga with dirty Yeezys on and an ankle mines on? Wasn't doing it. I don't know what's going on. Listen, no disrespect to Larry. No disrespect to Carter. $105,000 coming from a nigga in New Orleans? Text message? Bitch, please. I would have had to catch a fight to see you and lick you in your eyeballs as we speak about $105,000. $105,000, we're talking through text messages, wire. I'm sorry. The wire would have had to touch it. He would have had to touch the wire with me. $105,000, bitch, we must be about to get married or something. I got to touch your skin to feel how hot the blood running through the veins.
What's going on? I'm trying to see something now. Now we got to make it make more sense for me and my listen. A hundred and five thousand text message. Mm -mm. The text message would have said, "Drop your load, and I'm on the way." You get it? Oh no! Listen, this is New Orleans. No disrespect to nobody that was in that little section on over there on that side. First of all. All the women that was in a section put together, put all the women over there in the section put together with their makeup on, outfits on, shoes on, and makeup on, and cost over a hundred dollars. Let's start there first. Let's start there first. Listen, Lord, it gave me a headache. You mean to tell me that's what we doing? No, indeed, no. Listen, money bag was in. New Orleans. Let's start there first. No disrespect to Moneybag. I like his music and I love Ari. But Moneybag was in New Orleans. The only people Moneybag had with him was the people he brought with him. Bitch, me and my New Orleans hitters would have snuck Moneybag. Larry, Moneybag, Bam, everybody with him would have got Jack. Let's start there first. I don't give a fuck with that. But nobody see. That's what goes on in New Orleans. Y'all got to learn how to stand up for the city where you're from. Them niggas is in our city. Jack the whole crew. <laughs> Jack the whole crew. The fuck you talking about? Jack, first of all, you're supposed to call 911 because they said they're trying to serve money bag a warrant outside. Let's start there first. They said they were trying to serve money bag a warrant outside. Let's start there. I would have called 911, had the police outside, me and the team would have jumped money bag and his crew and then bitch let the police come in, let them get money bag and me and my crew would have been outside. Had our 105,000, all the jury, and we was gone. What's up? What's up? They say right now they jack and chains anyway. Bitch, what's up? What did you say? See, y'all don't know how to do the business. You should let me be the manager. I would have showed them. Bitch, I would have called them the boys. My little hitters on my project. What's up? Look, y'all come around here. I got, I got a lick. What you mean? Then Larry walk around with a book set going. That must have been where the money was at. Boy, listen. That would have been a come up for the city. Do you hear me? Yeah, please. I'm going to stay in the R&B lane. Let's start there first. Did you mean to tell me? What? Ain't, ain't no way. You go play me? Oh, no, no, no. Let's start here first. <laughs> yeah, we got to take this slow. That's you know what? If this live in, I got to press the button to go to talk again. If this live in, I got to press the button to talk a bit. Talk again. Now hold up. For real though. Let's put we didn't heard all the sign. We didn't heard from Jason. We didn't heard from Carter. We didn't heard from Larry. We even heard from Yeah the Real. Now it's time to make it make sense. We got to do this part first. You mean to tell me? Me. The little black boy from New Orleans that got the 15 year olds jacking cars. We got the boys that's jacking everybody that own the Kia. We got, we got, we all, we got the projects from people. We got the hood in the building. We got niggas that we know from the street and got a pot to piss it in the window to throw out and got a diamond chain on up in here. We got all kind of boss bitches and niggas in here that come from the street. And all money bag had with him was what he who he brought with him. And you mean to tell me I'm gonna get played in my city? Bitch, if it was me, Carter, I know you got to protect your name. You got to be professional. But you got to know this part. This is my city. Ain't no such thing as no nigga from wherever they from playing on. On me in my city in front of my people nah bitch it would have been hell to tell a captain i'm bringing them little bitches in here we is gonna beat y'all up take y'all chains take y'all money go in y'all pockets what's up that's how that's about to go ain't nobody take and then we listen when we finish with them you got to know this money bag and bam was gonna be whooping larry ass that part that's what I'm saying. The police would have been taking bag for his warrant. The police would have been taking Larry because what are you doing with the house arrest breaks and all down here in New Orleans anyway? 
everybody would have had to go. Carter ain't no way. You should have consulted with me on the side. When you was on the side with Larry and them, and, and, and they wasn't talking what you was trying to hear, you should have came to my section. That's what I'm saying. You was in the corner on that side talking to Larry and all the people over there. Talking about they didn't want to talk. They were scared. You should have said, okay. And then you should have came to my corner. And I was going to call everybody. Listen, I got them bitches. I'm telling you. I got them the niggas. And they got niggas who was in there who fuck with me. I'm telling you. We would have came out on top. When we would have got all of them, bitch, we would have been able to book Beyonce. <laughs> bitch, we would have booked Beyonce. The fuck they talking about? Bitch, we would have booked Beyonce in the Metro for the free. What's up? Fuck you talking about? Make, make me your consultant. I would have told you something. Make me your consultant. And bitch, listen after this. They would have went outside with their ass whooped, no money, no jury, and guess what? They cause would have been on flats. <laughs> oh, bitch, we would have rolled up, bitch. And guess what? We all would have gotten our cars and left because we from here. We got a house to go to, and they would have been stuck right there with cars on a flat, no jury, no money, couldn't even call an Uber. What's up? <laughs> God, let's go, bloody. Oh, no. Thank God. I'm, money bag don't send nobody to get me. I'm sorry. That's just when we hired Gordon New Orleans. I don't know what car it was. See, Carla was supposed to be trying to be too kind of professional. Ain't no way I would let y'all play it on me. Ain't no motherfucking way. The fuck? Oh, no, indeed. So I'm going to let y'all play on me, y'all from Egypt. Y'all about to go home and get y'all toes done 9.30 that night with the anchor mounts on. And I got to live in New Orleans with these savages. Ain't no motherfucking way. You, you said you had 160 in the bag? I would have took five from the 160 in the bag, called the hitters around there, got this bitch popping, and then I would have had the 155 in the bag, and then I would have had all the money bag money. I would have had Larry book sack money. I would have had all the jewelry around money bag neck, bam neck. That was the lick. New Orleans never know when they got a lick. Boy, that's good. His section wasn't even his section. Then his then money bag didn't even have a section. You put them girls out who had on their roots with they um they um they um rainbow outfits on. Them girls had on a rainbow outfit. You mean to tell me got put out the section for money bag to go in a section? So money bag came and got a free section, got bottles, got 105k to sit there with a sleeveless Route 21 shirt on. Money bag, you got us. Y'all got us. I ain't gonna lie, y'all got us. Y'all got next time, Cardi, will you book them? Book me to facilitate the management part. I promise you, we gonna get it going on. <laughs> Dick, listen, by the time we finished, Money Bag would have been on the stage singing his album from before he became a rapper. He would have been singing the songs that he was singing when he was sitting on the bed at home, writing his rap, be trying to become a rapper. What's up? Yeah, please, what's going on? What are we talking about? I'm trying to see what is we talking about. What is it? You see that you see that you see them you see them the hall you see the boys out of San Bernardo on here. I huh? talk about you see what's going on. You see they're saying, huh? You already know. Stop playing. The fuck you talking about? One call that's all. Bitch, I'm better than Morris Boy. Call it a word, everybody, y'all. Y'all see what happened tonight? They got us. You know, New Orleans, we've been scamming for years, bro. You know what I'm saying? New Orleans, we've been cutting up for years. We've been doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga said, money bag with a left in a bag. Oh, don't worry about it. That's cold blood. Don't worry about it, New Orleans. Don't worry about it, Carter. We understand, bro. At the end of the day, we, we, you got scammed. You got scammed, bro. I ain't gonna lie, though, Carter. Nigga shitting on you. You, he's sitting in the chair nine thirty at night. The shop is closed, getting his toes done with the arm, with the house arrest and bracelet twisted to the side. He had to be about to get a sugar scrub on his toes. See when you get the sugar scrub on your toes with the hot rocks, you got the ultimate pedicure. That's cold bloody, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's cold bloody. Lord have mercy, that's cold bloody, bro. I don't know what's going on. Do you 
me? Well, let me just stick with what I know. Where the props, where the props ENT? Where is the props ENT people? August 27th, I'm hosting with the um with, with my people again. That's right. I am officially every time. Why be the illest hit the stage is being hosted by Keith Carey. That's what I'm saying. I'm fucking with them. I grew up with Austin and all of them. I know what's going on. I know them people is coming on stage and do the job. I don't know what's going on. I'm so happy the rappers from New Orleans ain't turned into the money bag people. That's cold bloody. That's cold bloody. YD came on the stage and did 85,000 songs. You hear me? Them niggas in there rapped, hollered, screamed, jumped, and rumped. All night, you hear me? I was so nervous, and, uh, and I didn't know what was going on at the YD concert. They was rapping all night. This YD left off stage, came back with a different outfit on, and was rapping some more. That man did a show. You hear me? It was happy. It was happy with what was going on. You see what I'm saying? Oh, that's cold blooded. Nino Calvin came on stage, took his shirt off, and was hollering and screaming with the with the um bird gang. All my little nephews was in there. You think I would have let? Money back them did that to me when all I had to do was just call my nephews from around, call my nephews around there and got the business handled. When my when they would have called me and said, Listen, what money bag did you keep? We're on our way. At that point, I would have said, Y'all go outside and flatten his tires. He would have been stuck there for a minute. My head is on the way. We was gonna get the business done. I could promise you, by the time them little niggas finished. Money bag would have been in that money. So okay, stop playing. You know what's going on. Listen, money bag would have been on stage singing the songs that he was writing in his bunk beds before he became a rapper. You hear me? Before he was money bag yo, he was just yo. He would have been singing them songs. I'm telling you. What the fuck you talking about? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Lord, him. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. That's cold bloody. That's what we doing. About time we finished, listen to what I'm saying. About time we finished, Carter, we would have been sitting at the round table saying, when is we bringing Beyonce? Better yet, we gonna bring Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> there ain't no motherfucking way. Let me add the people on here. I'm telling you what my plan would have been. The up, oh Lord. Oh, that's cold blooded. Don't worry about it, Carter. We win some, we lose some, but bitch, I can promise you this. Make me over the uh, management next time. The business will be stand on, stood on. We gonna stand on them bitches. Larry here for a forty ball. Oh no, bitch! Oh, I can't stop laughing. The truth is, girl, wait. But that would have never happened at a prop TV. Let me pop my shit. That would have never happened at no motherfucking prop TV. You got Carter, to stand you gotta, on business. You got to join the team. You got to You got to. You got to. Because ain't no way. That would have never happened. But they really scammed that man. They scammed him. They got him. I would have told, I told they got Carter, him, you got the hook in the happened. bag. Wrap the bag up. Get in the coin. Leave. <laughs> when I meet you at the round table, I'm going to have another 460 bands. With jury. You know one thing that would have never happened at a prop TV. That would have never. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what? Do you mean to tell me he gave what's his name on the house arrest another you know, 20k there, in that bitch? When he got the he Girl, he went feet. under with all that. He went under with all that. He went under with all that. He only gave money bag yo 50k. If we gonna be real, he only gave him that. He probably didn't even give him so all you mean the money that the called him in the was beginning. For money bag, and then when he got then got the 55, that was for them. I would have yeah, he probably kept it. Make it make sense. That's why he was mad. That's why he didn't want to talk to him. I would girl, I wish I was down here. Girl, I would I wasn't was down there. Oh, I wish I was down there. That's why he didn't want to go tell money bag, yo, what the fuck? Do you hear this part here? That card was saying. All of it would have been for me when I left. <laughs> don't make no sense. All the 27 we lit with the um YD, huh? Period. Going up. Up. And that's my birthday. What's up? All right, we have the vote on the 27, huh? All right. Oh, my bad. I didn't even know. But listen, y'all. We got R&B night coming. Y'all see it already? Big old 6,000 tickets in one hour. 6,000 tickets in one hour. 
is going up. Listen, I'm on it. I'm there and I'm on it for R&B night. Listen to what I'm saying. Whoever is the special guest when they come, you got to know they come with the singing their heart out. Because if they don't, I got them little niggas on the standby. The business will be stood on. Fuck that. What's back? Oh, no. Listen, listen. Cole, you talking about what's back and dressing all that. I would have called you that night. Flat the tires outside. We got the business going on on the inside. You see what I'm saying? Bitch, I would have been walking around with all kind of diamonds on me right now. I would have been sitting here on the live with the diamonds. Listen, bitch, money bag chain looked like it was so heavy. It looked like his neck was growing muscles. Do you hear me? I don't know what's going on. I'm sticking with the R&B people. Them people is soft people. Them people coming to sing. Them niggas that be singing, the R&B celebrities that come to sing, they got jail all up in the hair. If you notice, all of them that came, if they ain't bald head, you saw they had some kind of curl going on in their head. So them niggas ain't coming there with all that beef and all that. They ain't coming there talking about shooting and all that. Them dudes coming there to sing and be soft. You see what the fuck I'm saying? If they get wrong, you can just spit on them and slap the fuck out of them and then take what you got to take and then we all right. See, them rappers, you got to take your chances. But guess what? For 105 bands, I would have took the chance. I ain't going to lie. I would have went with the move. I would have had to go with the move. I would have had to let the people of the great city of New Orleans that I'm running for mayor. I would have had to let the people know I am New Orleans. Let's start there first. I am New Orleans. And I promise you, the security would have had to get their work done. Security stands there and get paid just to stand around because ain't nothing going on. They would have had to work for their money. Sad. Better yet, the security in there who, who ain't had no weapons on them shouldn't have even been in there. I'm telling you. But you know what? It was a learning lesson for us all, bro. Girl, that's cold blooded. Oh, no. Mm, mm, mm. That's cold blooded. Unfucking believable. Mel, if I would have knew all that was going on and I would have been the manager over the um event, you better know. I was I don't know what's going on. Oh look, I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cold blood. Find time for you to add me, baby. I didn't went to sleep, woke up, went to sleep again, woke up. He lost me when he showed the contract where they wrote and, and, and scratched it and said about it was live. But I'm just trying to say, God don't like ugly. You've been scamming people out of cause. Somebody called me personally and said, give me a call. I thought something happened to my child. The people gave me a whole story. How they the, the, said the grandma scamming, the son scamming the calls, and they reporting calls and all of this and that. You know what I'm saying? You got to get, people got to get their lick back. You know that's my song. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, though, make it make sense. The people say he, he's selling stolen calls. I, I couldn't believe it. I sat there and had to listen to that whole story. I thought something really happened to my child. And the people gave me a whole story about they stole the call. They, they came there, report a call. It's, the, it's him, the son, and the grandma. I said, the grandma, I couldn't believe it. You can't do people bad and expect good to come your way. They've been stay safe. You know, they ain't never had a name, but this day that called me today got a name, but it's gonna be confidential. They say been scamming for years. That's why I didn't go. I wanted to go see Money Bag. You, I had a little outfit and all of that. But when I saw T Coordination and IG Willis, I said, I'm gonna sit this one out. I'm gonna go over here in the French quarters with the red dress people and have a ball. And that's what I did. And while I bam, we got action come Sunday morning. Why we ain't discuss that about the calls? They say that's been selling and scamming and all of that. Now we supposed to be feeling sorry that he got scammed because the truth be told, 105,000 for the Metro, come on now. 
Make it make sense. Not the film, the Metro. Baby, y'all talking about Larry scam. The scam is scamming and they're scamming together and they all in with the bag and that's on it. They all in cahoots. Larry, him, money bag, yo, the people in the section and the people with the rainbow outfit. I see what I see. I'm going to be. All the people got to stop. This, this was about the rap show. Now, where she come with calls at? Because I ain't heard nothing about the calls getting reported. Now, I did hear they were saying something about, uh, to let's go. Got the calls going on. The lady said that. The lady said that she traded her call in at to let's go for a call. She said that to never paid the call off. And she said when Toll never paid the car off, once the people who got her car paid it off, the lady said she couldn't get the titles because when he got the car from the first person, uh, the car was done paid off. So now she done paid the note on this car and paid that car, and she can't get the titles for the car that she paid off. Now that's what she said. Now the lady said she wanted to come on here and talk about it. But I told her not tonight. But I guess since we here, might as well address the elephant in the room. Better yet, we go keep this the money bag situation. We go keep this different. We go do the the car situation tomorrow. We go do that tomorrow. What tomorrow is Tuesday? Oh no 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 no! I can't do it. Well, yeah, I can do it tomorrow. I'm gonna have to go live for seven o'clock tomorrow because I got um Taco Tuesday at D Exquisite tomorrow. But so I could do seven tomorrow. I could do seven tomorrow. I could do that. See what I'm saying? New Orleans always got something going on. But Carter said he here for all of it. Let's talk about cause. Oh Lord, yeah, they here for it tonight. See what I'm saying? Look, it's ten ten. I gotta be to work for four in the morning, five in the morning. I can't be up here all night with this and all that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, that's cold blooded. Key, you ain't addressed my question that I inboxed you earlier. I forgot what he said. Where the fuck is money bag managing? They all came on here. Fuck, all uh, right, I fell asleep. Now, this is the million dollar question right here. To top off what Brooke put in the comments about the section for money bag been booked because her and Mike couldn't get it. I won't know right motherfucking now. And money bag contract for his tour. I know for a fact when you on tour, you cannot be booked. And no outside event because you are on tour. Bitch, you been scammed up. Well, you scammed T Carter. Your manager, Bam, and, and, and Larry, yeah, they all knew that. So T Carter said, you, you, you been got got. Ooh. So wait, that, 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 that. So wait, one more time. What happened? When you're on tour, right. you cannot be booked for no outside event because you are on tour mm. there you go so you mean the that's why booked? that section been booked so you Carter, get it so Carter been scammed before the scam came oh all right you see he said the 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 tour was discussed first right Girl, you were supposed to catch on then see you're just slow dummy lamont oh so you have been playing everybody with some cars over here at Carmont on Barman highway now you done got got because you didn't use your brain. See, reading is fundamental. Bitches should have been caught on. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I know it's just because I know. My uncle is a manager. There you go. See, I ain't yeah. know that before. All yeah. right. All right, Chase. See what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Girl, that's cold bloody. See what I'm saying? You should have just let me. You should have just let me get the get listen. I got hitters. I'm telling you. They would have been around there quick. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, that's cold bloody. That was a big old lick. Girl, I would have been sitting here with the diamonds hanging on me right now. I'm telling you. 
They see hey, that's what's going on. They see that they're jacking the rappers' chains anyway. We would have hit the CNN, I'm telling you. I, I don't know what's going on. Girl, that's cold blooded. Mm -hmm. See, Wayne will show up and show off for his city. You see what I'm saying? Wayne will do that. Them people was from over there in Egypt somewhere. You know what I'm saying? That's cold, cold bloody. New Orleans is different. New Orleans is different. I ain't gonna lie. New Orleans is different. That's cold, cold bloody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm adding the people, y'all. That's different. Larry is sitting down getting his feet done and putting the grease on his feet with the sugar scrub. Got the house arrest bracelet doing donuts on his leg. That's cold blooded. Mm, mm, mm. Is Rude Jude on here or is Papa on here? Because bitch, Papa DJed all night. Papa found songs to play with. Papa was I changed out. my mind. I changed my mind. I, I changed my mind. I don't even want to talk to them. All right. Let this dumb mother. Papa was just playing song after song. Listen, Papa had them played every song made in America. I thought Papa was about to start playing Do the Jubilee. Oh, do you hear me? I had them screamed and hollered all across the mic. Rude Jude had them screamed and hollered all across the mic. Bitch, before you know it, me and Rude Jude was up there like we was um the. <laughs> Bitch, that nigga was gonna need a vest that night. Like, bitch, <laughs> nigga was outside. <laughs> look, look, bitch. Oh. Man, look, nigga, yeah, nigga man. wasn't even, oh, nigga wasn't even getting no barbecue. Nigga was just walking. Nigga, <laughs> boy, nigga was like, fuck that barbecue, boy, bitch. I want to fight. Go. Oh. Let me but, go. Look, nigga was ready to knock the Beijing out that boy bed, boy. <laughs> she called away my ass. No fucking Beijing left in that fucking bed, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yeah. Yeah. I heard a nigga say, I'm going to sit on this car. I said, nigga, yeah. what? <laughs> nigga called BJ. <laughs> BJ, man, watch my car. <laughs> Boy, that nigga BJ was sitting there. Look, oh, that nigga ain't even look strong. Look, that nigga was... <laughs> Oh, you missed oh. I ain't see that. Shit, that was the fucking... Man, that, that nigga had part of the head cock right to the side. Yep. His feet up with an ankle monitor. I don't know nobody that's getting their fucking feet done. At 9.30, dog. 30, dog, exactly. That was the same thing I said. Nigga, it's 9.30. Wait, that wait. Nigga would open up his own shit, you hear me? Side that boy. Side That boy said, that boy, <laughs> that boy come on that bitch. Head to the side. That nigga had him. That nigga come on the live with showing his feet off. Dunk. Off the dunk. <laughs> I showed, I look, I, I showed you the paperwork, nigga. I'm VIP <laughs> and hung up. So, look, yeah. so listen, I missed it. What the paperwork say? I didn't see it. I was. It was live. Live. No, bitch, alive. <laughs> they say alive. <laughs> live, though. Oh wait, let me see. Hold on, what it say? Oh, nigga, I'm not fucking. One, one time. Head hurting. Bro. One time. One song, the contract say fifty thousand dollars up front shall be paid by purchaser to in the name of artist agent LL booking and promotions. And the remaining balance of fifty five thousand should be paid the day of the event before they enter the venue. So mind you he gave them the get rest up? of that plus motor. They, Wait, so, so the one oh five was paid. For one song? For, for one man, song. Man, shut up, Shadi, bro. One, no, I don't. Song. That, that, that don't even go. Bitch, that ain't no shut even, up, bitch. That don't even add up, bro. One bitch, what that nigga? That nigga about to get the, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> he said, can't guarantee four songs, but one song for sure. Oh. So what? Hey. hey, bitch, you. All right, let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> I ain't never booking the nigga that tell me they're gonna do one song for 105. Right, right. 
That's bitch, we could have booked Yolanda Adams. <laughs> bitch, we could have had a whole church thing, bitch. We could have we could have saved some people with a hundred. You could have booked. We could have saved some people. One. We could have saved some people, some people for one hundred five, bitch. Then look at the one hundred five was just for that. The one hundred five was just for the book, and that wasn't including none of that because it said all payments are to be made in full without any deductions of any kind. Mm. So that's crazy. The 105 plus the flight ticket and the hotel and the so the one so the 105 wasn't included with flights and rooms and nothing. That was just for the no. That wasn't all. 105 wasn't all in. No, that wasn't all in. See, this nigga. Say, hold on. Let me. Let me. I just this nigga Jew look like he live in heaven. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that, bitch, that bitch look like every day he just got all white on. That bitch walk around that bitch like Frankie Beverly and Maze. That bitch, that bitch got that bitch got linen pajamas. That bitch. <laughs> Hey, bro, why you, hey, Ryan, why you added this man on? Oh, I don't know, dog. I, why you look when I see that bitch keep going up? I looked at that bitch again. That bitch, I said, Oh, I know this. Bitch. What? That is man. <laughs> that, oh, man, no. y'all niggas got my stomach. No, that man. mercy. So, listen, listen, bro. Just for the sake of my friend, bro, because I fuck with Carter, he off the hook with the city or, or he still on the hook? Well, now. They didn't clear them. I think they didn't clear them off of the off of the money bag. Now they want them about the car dealership. Boy, that's cool, blood. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. So, so it's clear. It was just one song for one hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars. What? Bang! 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 Oh! When the next, bro? When is the next fucking comedy show, dog? We got, with Curry. we got Curry oh, yeah, coming Curry. down, bitch. Fuck, and you got to be there since you already been all white, bitch. It's an all white <laughs> comedy show. So you might, you might want to go ahead and roll out the bed and bring your, bring your fucking ass in there. Hey, and, man, that's fuck. cool, brother. Yeah. Can't believe fuck. A that nigga one, with a head hey, cop to the fucking that one, side. That's, hey, hey, that's one thing we know about New Orleans, bro. Don't put on no janky shit. When niggas spend their money in New Orleans, it's I'm over for you. if it's a concert, yeah. food nasty, bitch, you good no They gon' they gon' talk, talk about that shit. I'm telling you, let you live. That's sad. Oh, they don't let you live, boy. Fuck no. Boy, let you live. But listen, I ain't gonna lie. Call them my word. Just go ahead and move to Prairieville some fucking way and start doing something else, bro, nigga. That's my nigga, but he ain't gonna. They all get nigga ain't gonna. Boy, you know. That nigga gonna have to put on a whole nother kind of concert. That nigga gonna have to bring Miley Cyrus or somebody down here, bitch. He gonna have to change his market. No. <laughs> I, think well, he, nigga, I think he kind of good. I think he good, though. He kind of cleared well, up his name. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what. It, it wasn't about the bread. He, the nigga just got got. Yeah. He wasn't supposed yeah. to be the city. First, at first, no. was a bitch saying that he was lying and all that. But when the dude, Larry, came up there and, like, stamped the shit, like, well, yeah. I guess that's when they believed him right. in. Right. So, one song, that's it, right? Just one song. <laughs> he did do one song. He did a little piece. No. From the section. Yeah, he did, bitch. He yeah, yeah, with yeah. I was on the way out the door. I ain't the wolf about to go on, bro. Look, no, listen. I saw. I was walking in. You were walking out. But listen, listen, listen. At the time, I had just got there. It was like. Two two thirty. Like two thirty. I saw T leaving. Huh? Yeah, it was two thirty. Mm -hmm. That bitch Key Key was leaving, but he wasn't leaving like Key be leaving. That bitch was leaving a little like, right. <laughs> I'm, like I'm like like fuck you going. Look at the seafood roll dude. The seafood roll dude said he trying to pack up his shit. He said the dudes pulled up and all the four doors flew open. So the man said he didn't know what was going on. He said the dude said told the deputy call called out here. See, the deputy said, I don't roll like that. We'll call, I don't call nobody. He said, you know what? Better yet, you better call a SWAT team because we going to sit out here. The the uh, the the seafood roll man said he left his pot and everything out there and got in his car and got the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> boy, that's cold, boy. New Orleans don't play, boy. New Orleans don't play. That's cold-blooded, though. Cold-blooded. That's cold-blooded. Bang. Bloody. 
All right. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that bitch Carter got on this bitch early, like Ronald Isley, bitch. That nigga was talking so smooth. That bitch. Man, <laughs> Listen crazy. here, little. He was talking to Chris. Listen here, little brother. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Man, God, God damn. Dog, no, why is you up here, bro? Go ahead, dog. Go do some work. No. Go ahead, go do some work. No. Go do, bitch. I, no, look, but Ryan, Ryan was out there no, with me bitch, that night. Don't put me in none of that, bitch. You're a liar. <laughs> you're a fucking liar. No, no, listen. Listen, listen. I listen, was like, no. bitch, he was about to leave. He, he, no, yeah, bitch. You felt them bullets on the way too, bitch. Look. <laughs> I, said, I was fuck that. chilling with my partner, making sure BJ was straight. He was supposed to be making sure we straight. I'm making sure he's straight. Yeah. yeah, bitch. Listen, I was, I, I was, I went to go watch everything on social media, bitch, because it ain't look like, it ain't look like that niggas was gonna really make it out that bitch. Like I said, for man. real, for real. Hey, I heard, I heard so many. Boy, fuck that <laughs> and all that. I said, oh no, I gotta get the fuck. So it was too many of them. It was serious. Look, I heard a nigga leaving. Then when I knew it was serious, nigga said, I'm tired of that nigga. I said, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when a nigga say, I done had it. That's it. I'm sick of this shit. It was, it was, man. Yeah, that was, that was, that was fucked up though. That was fucked up. Fuck it, dog. At the end of the day, dog, listen. Man, if you would've. Saw this nigga, you'd have been like, man, I ain't gonna get this nigga no money. Yeah, for the Larry right. nigga. Yeah, yeah. Dude, really? He he he, he, he rolled with them or he from here? No, I, I he I, from he, here. He rolled with uh, Sam Gina. He fuck with them, like he fuck with them. Oh, with my yeah, he's going for yeah, the you know. So, but, I don't know. What but, the, I don't know. He made a good bit of big a good bit though. He made a good bit. Oh yeah, he got yeah yeah he got his layer. Yeah. He got his head. Yeah, yeah. slow. He probably, all the nigga had to do is come walk through that bitch. Yeah. That nigga ain't even loot. It still was smelling like cologne when he left that motherfucker. That nigga ain't touch nobody or nothing. Nothing. But man. So are these. But fuck it, man. I'll see y'all September 2nd. Shout out to